hey guys what's going on welcome back to my channel so intel has released 0x12b micro code page bios and some tests were done to check the performance of these chips after the update of course and now guys the 0x12b is the 13th series which succeeded the 0x12 patch that was released in august now guys these tests were done uh, to let the users know what to expect from new micro code patch release and uh, according to the intel original blog intel stated that the performance impact will be within the run to run variation and uh, synthetic apps like cinebench r23 speedometer crossmark and uh, in a run to run variation where you find performance difference and generally under the margin of errors but uh, guys not this time not with this bios page and the test and that was done by the chip hell for you user tw fox the user test intel core i9 3900k processor on ss mobo and showed some interesting stuff like the removal of the option that uh, let users disable c1e in bios which keeps the processor stress at bay while maintaining CPU stability and uh, if you talk about the performance Intel Core i9-3900K saw a noticeable 6.5% drop in the performance in Cinebench R15 as uh, it already scored like uh, 330 to 340 points in single uh, core performance with a similar config but uh, after the latest BIOS uh, patch version 0x12p the score uh, dropped to 314 points and uh, if we compare these intel new scores against uh, amd core i9 3900k lost uh, its spot as we can see here in the chart and is now lower than 7700x which score uh, 320 points and uh, that's not all guys the same performance loss uh, uh, are even seen in r15 with uh, core i9 4900k on ss uh, z790 hero uh, with the new bios 0x12p and in cinebench r23 the multi uh, core score has dropped to 37276 points which is usually over 38000 points or maybe plus this makes uh, it lose against the Ryzen 9 7950X which scores around 37,500 uh, but guys if you have uh, one of these chips and uh, you updated the BIOS to latest version you guys have uh, no choice but to uh, settle with these new scores and if you guys don't want your CPUs to further and permanently deteriorate so you have to stick with this new BIOS of course there is a downside too so I'm sorry guys for breaking you uh, such bad news but new CPUs from Intel is just a month away and uh, if you are planning to build a new system based on Intel chips I would highly suggest to wait for uh, two to three weeks because Intel is launching their new array like uh, Core Ultra 200 series and uh, if you do not want to uh, go with uh, AMD then you can uh, go with Intel uh, Core Ultra 200 series and Intel told the users before the launch that uh, these new array like CPUs are free of vmin and instability power issues before the launch so let's see what we get after the cpus are con in the consumer hands because uh, as a company we do not uh, trust intel now been like before and uh, we test it for ourselves and then we can decide whether what they claim is true or just another hoax until then i'll see you in the next video guys